following the Nigerian tech market for a little while now, you know that within the last two weeks, there's been a lot of hype following a certain device that just got released into the market, the Zappo phone. Now, what is actually making the Zappo phone like so hype worthy? Well, it comes with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs internal storage, 3,200 milliamp power battery, fingerprint sensor, and a 720 degree panoramic camera. Now, with a spec sheet like this, coupled with a Snapdragon processor that we still aren't very sure of, and it retails for about 8,000 Naira, and you're now like, wait, what? Now, a typical Nigerian man will know that if you want to get a good smartphone that is like way up there and can actually turn some heads, you'd actually have to spend at least more than 25,000 Naira to get something that good. And then we have this phone and it's retailing for about 8,000 Naira with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs internal storage and a Snapdragon processor. So, Immediately you just hear this, you start thinking, okay, even if this spec sheet is correct, then they've made some compromises somewhere and we'll have to wait and see whether they've actually made those compromises. Now here's the thing, Zappophone said that they did a survey and then they found that most phones that are sold in Nigeria are pretty costly and that many Nigerians cannot really like afford it. That's practically what they were saying. And then they now decided that they were going to do a promo and launch the cheapest phone that has ever been made in Nigeria. And that was what they did with the Zappo phone. So the Zappo phone retails with all of those specs for just 8,000 Naira, like I said before. And it's pretty eye turning, all right. Now, it did, of course, go under the radar the first time I heard it. Like one of my friends was scrolling through Facebook and saw it and shared it in our WhatsApp group. And all of us were actually laughing at it because of course we were not like expecting this to be legit or anything. But then close to the launch period, December, we started hearing other news. And then we now heard that Linda Ikeji was actually there at the launch event and that other people like these high notable people were actually there for the launch event and then you start to think are you sure this isn't actually a scam now the promo period ran from about December 1st to December 10th and then after that they said the phone would retail for about 45,000 Naira even though the original price is about 108,000 Naira now I looked at this phone and I said I have no reason to buy this why should I waste my money for something that I don't know if it's legit or not so why exactly did I buy this phone now the thing is I'm supposed to be a tech youtuber right so a tech youtuber is what I'm supposed to take all the risks and actually tell people that this is a scam or this isn't a scam so I thought about that and I was like, fine, let me give this a try. If it's actually a scam, then I'll let people know. But if it isn't a scam, then I'll actually do a full review plus hands-on to actually know whether this phone compromises in places that are very, very noticeable or if the compromises are things that we can overlook for the price. Now, there are two things that actually come in play here. Here's the thing, if anyone's going to actually do a review of this phone and they bought it at 8,000 Naira, I don't think they'll be as critical as they would be if they bought it for say 45,000 Naira or 108,000 Naira. So it's pretty, it's just a bit gnarly in my opinion, but we'll have to wait and see how things go. For now, all I can say is that to me, it still feels like a scam because their website as much as it's not bad, it's still pretty unfinished. 
One thing you will notice very well, especially with their PHP, was the fact that you know these transparent text boxes, well not really transparent, they have these semi-transparent text on them, then when you click the text box, they actually disappear. Now, on the Zappophone website, the PHP, if it was actually PHP they use or JavaScript, was not semi-transparent. It was actually filled in there for you and it was actually quite annoying trying to fill in my details and I had to clean off every single thing that was already written there. So this was like one bad time for me. Then the next thing was even after you've created an account on their website, you still see welcome guest and you're like, wait, welcome guest, not welcome Odima, welcome my first name or any part of my name, it's just guest. And I said, this is definitely a bad sign. But still, I went ahead, I made the purchase. Now they had four options on their website for purchase. You either pay with your bank, you pay online on their website, you pay via Paystacks if I'm correct, or you pay via 737 GT Bank's USSD code. So I made the payment, I got a Paystacks receipt to my email, but I didn't get any sort of text or email from Zappophone actually telling me thank you for buying our phone or giving me details of my purchase. The Paystax receipt could be enough, but I am not very, very comfortable with it. Here's the thing, we'll have to wait and see how things go. I think it's about 18 days remaining for me to actually get my phone. If their claim that you get the phone after 21 days is true, if it is true on the other hand, I'll actually do a full review plus hands-on and I'll do a giveaway. For the phone so do make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss out on any of these contents but for now the waiting game continues thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time peace